Hey everyone, it is Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. Today I'm going to show you a science experiment commonly referred to as elephant toothpaste. So we're going to do two different variations of the experiment. The first using a 6% hydrogen peroxide and the second using a 3% hydrogen peroxide. Are you ready? Let's get started. To start the elephant toothpaste science experiment, we are going to make a mixture of water and yeast. And if you remember, I'm making two variations of the experiment, that's why I have two mixing bowls here. So you're going to want to mix two tablespoons of warm water and one teaspoon of yeast. And then you are going to stir that mixture for one minute. After you've stirred for a minute, the yeast should be completely dissolved in the water. Next, you're going to want to grab a large pan because it could get a little messy. Inside the pan, you're going to place an empty bottle. And if you remember, I'm doing two variations of the experiment, that's why I have two bottles. So to prepare our bottles, we are going to first pour in a half of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. And this is my 6% hydrogen peroxide. So in the next bottle, I am going to pour Again, a half of a cup of hydrogen peroxide, and this is my 3% hydrogen peroxide. After you've poured the peroxide in, the next step is to put in a little food coloring. So for my one with the 6% hydrogen peroxide, I am going to put a couple drops of blue food coloring in. And for my one with the 3% hydrogen peroxide, I'm going to put a couple drops of red food coloring in. And then the last step for preparing the bottles is to add a squirt of dish soap. Put one in that bottle, and then one in this bottle. So now we are ready to add our yeast mixture to the bottles. So I am going to start with the bottle that had the 3% hydrogen peroxide. And then the bottle with the 6% hydrogen peroxide. I'm actually going to stir the, the one with the 6% around just a little to get it to start going. So as you can see, the 6% hydrogen peroxide and the 3% hydrogen peroxide made it react a little bit differently. The 6% is often recommended to use because it looks a little bit more like toothpaste. So, can you tell me why this happened? Leave a comment below to submit your guess, and then visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer. You can print out detailed instructions on this science experiment, as well as many more that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.